boys better hold on because I'm going to have to stand on it. Welcome back to How Wide and Handsome, a racing podcast right here on the Arson Brothers Network. We may be a day late and a dollar short, but the whole gang's back together. What is up, guys? <laughs> We're on rain delay. Had to, <laughs> had to bump it back a day. <laughs> I've been on rain delay for two weeks. It's been raining <laughs> for days here in Lerona, let me tell you. <laughs> But, yeah, back a day later this week than normal, but that's all right. I'm, of course, Matt Clown, my co-host as always, Michael Sizemore, and Mr. Sean Allen. And see, my name got mentioned first because I actually showed up for the job last week, unlike somebody. Oh. Hey, hey, look, Size, you have to understand, in the entertainment business, I'm what you call an attraction. I'm not going <laughs> to be there, but when I am, it's going to draw. That's, that's what we call an attraction. I'm attractive. So that's what people uh, say. Oh I'm a tractor. <laughs> <laughs> and she thinks you're sexy. You really turn exactly. around. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh Lord. But speaking of sexy, sexy Las Vegas, <laughs> fresh off of Sin City, a weekend filled with races. Yeah, yeah. man, I, I thought it was a pretty good race overall. I really did. I mean, the 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 uh, restarts and the ensuing laps after sure were exciting, if nothing else was. Oh yeah, I mean, even the, I mean, the restart certainly got very wild. We saw four wide almost every restart, but I mean, they would stay bunched up for, uh, especially the first half of the race for laps afterwards. Oh, yeah. It was some really interesting Vegas racing and. Uh, pretty fun to watch, I thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. But yeah, normally, the, um, the, when ahead. NASCAR starts their West Coast stint, I'm kind of like, uh, you know, I, you get. Which this year we don't have the California thrown in the West Coast stint. We just have uh, Vegas and Phoenix. But this is usually kind of when I tune out a little bit until we get back east. But yeah, this was, <laughs> a, it was a lot of fun. It's a good think, race. Uh, I think California track Auto Club was the problem. Yeah, in my opinion, yeah. there and started that West Coast off downward. But uh, I guess when we see Auto Club again, it'll be a short track. Yeah, that's, that, that'll be pretty cool. I guess and West Coast racing could become something that's it could be the new interesting thing out there on the left coast. <laughs> Oh, and, and no offense to any of our fans on the West Coast, Size doesn't know anything about geography or what he's talking about. So yeah, I mean, I'm not he, there. in fact, <laughs> refuses to go uh, west of the Mississippi River, as I've been told many, many That's times. right. There's nothing past that river that I need. I don't need to go any further than Graceland, ever. <laughs> oh, this is two weeks in a row. Your, uh, your team there putting the points up. Hey, hey, not not so much. I'm not going to make so much of a HMS comment since my <laughs> colleagues get so salty about the whole thing. But guys, it looks like Chevy's back this year. I mean, you know, this is this is more speed, more pure speed than we've seen out of Chevy in several years. So, so I, I mean, that makes me happy. But yeah, it is the new Hendrick Childers engine alignment is paying yeah. off because we're seeing speed in all of those cars. Including yeah. on the Childress side, and uh, yeah. granted, the Hendrick side, probably as expected, seems to have a little more overall speed. But I think the uh, the engines have helped them with those good cars, and certainly, I do believe the benefits paying off on, for Childress too, as they they've been progressing at, well ever since that alignment was announced last year, really. So it's yeah. kind of cool to see. But Chevrolet definitely is back. Which it's weird to say is back after they won the championship last year, but realistically, last year was certainly uh, Ford versus Toyota. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, yeah. And Tommy, yeah, I mean, Chase won a good race there at the end. I mean, to to win the championship and congratulations to Chase. But nobody, not a single person that watches NASCAR Cup Series racing, thought that the champion wasn't going to be Denny Hamlin or Kevin Harvick for the majority yeah. of last season. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, you're right. I mean, I mean, they they sort of played the you know that championship last year. I mean, they played that game of winning places where oh, you didn't yeah. have to have you know a super super fast. You know, it wasn't all horsepower. It was, there was lots of other lots of other you know factors. And and no, I agree with that. Um, 
but man, I'll tell you what, the poor Harv, man, like everybody was complaining about the down till slide that he had at the end of last year, and it ain't got any better. What is going on, guys? Yeah, Stuart Haas as a whole, and I mean, obviously, Harvick is going to be the most recognizable compared to his crazy last year, but the whole team and certainly the four car, they are struggling. They're trying to make us look like fools. We spent our first episode, our preview episode, hi- hyping up Harvick and um, <laughs> downplaying Martin Truex. And now Truex is <laughs> on top five every week, and Harvick's not even cracking the top ten. Well, yeah, I don't think that, any of us could have could have, Nost- could have seen that coming. But. Nostradamus, we are not. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but you know what, though? Not, not, not uh, – uh, you know, ragging on Stuart Haas or hard, but really Ford overall, with the exception of Keselowski. I mean, you know, it, 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 I mean, I think Logano hasn't been running as well. I mean, so no. it, it's really, I mean, Keselowski showed a lot of speed at times, but I mean, Ford overall has, has, has been a little bit down this year so far. The uh, As odd as it is, Brad Keselowski and Michael McDowell are the only Fords that are performing. Yeah. 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 Really. And yeah, McDowell's yeah. Like, out of nowhere doing well and, yeah, they ran. They ran good again. Yeah, they did. They did. Thank good for the, them, uh, man. Finish ended up. I'm gonna pull it up here a little uh, further down than they ran through the day. Uh, ended up 17th, but they ran top 10 a good chunk. Yeah. Of the day. Yeah. Yeah. Well, heck, man. I mean, before before the last few weeks, we'd have been saying top twenty for those guys was really good. <laughs> so yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it doesn't nothing nothing to to be disappointed about there. For sure. I mean, yeah, it's crazy. Not. I mean, if you look at twenty nineteen or twenty twenty versus twenty twenty one season, I mean, you have one returning winner from last year so far this season. I mean, mm-hmm. William Byron, and that's William Byron. Nobody expected him to be a returning winner from last season so mm-hmm. nobody who did who won races last year has really stepped up so far this year hey speak speaking of william byron i got a bone to pick with you boys i watched last week's episode and i heard all the junk y'all were talking about me and hendrick and all that good stuff but y'all <laughs> miss, y- y- y'all did not miss one time who i believe is the unsung hero on that whole thing and rudy fugel man i'm yeah. telling you the You're boy right. can car you're right. Yeah. I like Rudy. I like Rudy when he was with KBM in the trucks. You're right. Yeah. I feel like yeah, dude, dude's good, man. Yeah. I feel like too. Chad Canals taking over the entire Hendrick program this year. It might be. It might be paying some benefits. Yeah. You know, the one thing that's kind of surprised me as far as those um Hendrick Chevys is the 48 has not performed as well as i expected to i expected um with bowman taking over that 48 they would be running better than at least byron is and it seems right now they're kind of the odd man out in that group yeah i agree fully i had bowman really high on my uh, predictions list and uh so far they're kind of the least performing ones there well, you know that 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 uh, man, I, I agree with you. That that Chad, what, what else the worst to you? That Chad creativity may be spreading across the whole uh, <laughs> both buildings now instead of one team. You yeah. know, what I'm so, that's right. And yeah. we certainly saw with the five car the return to victory lane of the five car, and of course Kyle Larson in only his fourth race back and fourth race at Hendrick, which makes him I saw the. Uh, Quickest driver ever to win, uh, and starting with Hendrick, only four races oh, with the team. Wow! And you think about that's a state. You think about the drivers who went through there, man. That's yeah, that's oh, impressive. Man, yeah. I mean, but you know, we 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 uh, for for years, the three of us have talked. I mean, long before the the controversy with Larson and everything, we've all talked about man, if he could just get in a little better equipment, yeah. it, it's going to be yeah. on. And I, I mean, I. I will. I wouldn't be surprised if we didn't see that five in victory lane quite a bit this season and seasons to come. Quite frankly, but yeah. Oh, I agree, hundred percent. I expected them, um, <coughs> excuse me, to be in contention for wins. I really didn't think it would happen this early. Even, uh, I mean, one just gelling of the team, but two just looking at the tracks minus Homestead. <laughs> you know, not really. Larson tracks until Bristol Dirt, which is coming up. I know everyone, of course, got him pegged for that. But now, a win already, man, we, they may 
Uh, they may be the cat's meow this year. Yeah. They were very fast. All, I mean, all day, but from the second half of the race on, it was pretty clear that the five car was the car to beat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a lot of speed there. Um, after that final stage, I mean, just super fast. Yeah, I mean they, yeah they, and and, it, and there were times that it felt like there was maybe somebody else that had something for him, but every time somebody else got close, it's like he just pulled away again. It was it got a little yeah. nuts. Uh, we saw uh, as we spoke, Brad, the best ring for Keselowski, ends up second, and uh, really their second half, the only one I thought that looked like potentially could have anything for that five was Keselowski, and it didn't. It didn't look like a, a lot even there. Yeah, but. And then uh, a couple of Gibbs boys, Kyle Busch, Denny Hamlin, Ryan Blaney gets the top five. So there's a Ford uh, getting up there. Mr. Blaney, yeah. he needs a True. good run. Yeah. Yeah, Kyle Bush, right there. Bell. Kyle Bush back up there, Matt. <laughs> yeah. We'll say, you know. Third. Yeah. All four Gibbs cars in the uh, top seven. Damn. So Gibbs and Hendrick leading the way there. Uh, Eric Jones got the old 43 and 10th. Great run yeah. for that team. Another another Chevy there. It's kind of overperforming a little bit. Yes, and I'm glad and to see glad, glad to see Jones doing well though, man. He's a good driver and, and yeah, he, he deserves to do well. Yeah, absolutely. I hope um, can see continued elevation of that team throughout the year. Uh, Chris Busher, speaking of a, a, another Ford that's actually performing. busher has been fast most races this year. Mm-hmm. Brought home another top fifteen. In 14th, and then uh, I want to speak on Ryan Priest again, a top 15. That team, no charter, and they've uh, they've been pretty consistently in the top 15, if not higher, so far yeah. this year. So kind of cool to see. Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. They've ran really well too. I mean, for the most part, so good for them. A lot of parity this year. A lot of uh, unfamiliar faces yeah. near the top, and even in victory lane. Yeah, yeah, man. It's yeah, I mean, it is. It's, it's, I, I was thinking about that after the race. Like, man, it, you just, all the, you know, it's definitely nothing like the last few seasons. The faces you see running up front every week. I mean, it's exciting. It's, it's good. I mean, I think it's good for the sport. I mean, oh, yeah. I, I, mean, I, I, like I love it. it. A yeah. Larson, uh, no slack. I mean, Larson, you know, he's won quite a few races prior, but I mean, he didn't even race last season. You, it's kind of crazy to, you know, think, come back and have no rust or, you know, any, just, four or five races in be winning a race it's kind of crazy yeah absolutely yeah. um aj almondinger over in the xfinity side bringing home a big oval track victory for him yeah it's cool i like to, i like the dingers running the full season in the xfinity this year i think it's pretty cool yeah i love it man i'm a huge dinger fan yeah, I like the Dinger, too. I mean, that, that's really cool. And he kind of even talked about in his Victory Lane speech about that, how he didn't think he'd be doing this again, and this and that. And next thing you know, I mean, it's, it's good for him, man. Yeah, yeah, one thing cool. I like about Xfinity this year is two guys that I really enjoyed watching run part-time series uh, last year in Dinger and uh, Jeb Burton have uh, full-time rides this year. So it's kind of cool seeing these guys actually get a chance to run a full season and contend for a championship there. Yeah, it's I agree. Now, now in the playoffs with and the then, win there. Uh, we'll speak on the trucks real quick. John Hunter Nemechek. Yeah. Bring uh, home a win. I like seeing that. We saw uh, Kyle Busch was in the race and certainly very fast, had a tire go down and then uh, controversial uh, and very seemingly spun two calls of caution. Uh, NASCAR reviewed it, called for no penalty, and then we got to watch him – frantically drive back to second a size he could get but uh it was fun seeing that madness and john hunter getting a, a win so pretty cool truck race did you watch the i guess as uh bob pockers's post-race interview with him asking him about the caution nope, just, nope. <laughs> 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 refusing to talk about it whatsoever <laughs> i mean it, it, it's pretty obvious what happened it's weird we we see it happen uh, multiple times every season but there's no real basis for if you're penalized or not. It's like one week they will, some yeah. dude, the next week they won't. I'm, I'm not saying what's right, wrong, or the other. I don't know. If I'm that driver, I'm probably going to do the same thing. Yeah. But it's weird. Uh, it's weird how some get penalized, some don't. I don't know. I don't know. He got, he got that old itchy arm. Remember that? Yeah. <laughs> the arm was itching. Remember that old thing? And certainly 
penalized there. That turned into a big ordeal for well, it did. Granted, granted different circumstances, but the same action. Yeah. Yeah. So just interesting. And but I thought it was a fun truck race to watch, so yeah, it was, actually, it was a real good race. Out. Yeah. Good racing in good Vegas, race. but that puts us looking ahead. Well, before we get into Phoenix, uh, I'll ask the SRX Racing Experience, the new series from Tony Stewart and Ray Everham that will be running this summer, a uh, summer nighttime short track shootout kind of series. But uh, they unveiled officially the full car and ran some laps with Kenny Schrader. This week, did you guys get to see that? Or any of that? I, I saw the car. Um, I a few pictures of it, but I, I didn't get to see them actually run the laps. Yeah, I didn't get to see it either. Yeah. Um, there's a lot, a lot of back and forth on the car. I love the car myself. I think it's really cool. Got a uh, um, kind of 80s Trans Am series yeah. vibe mixed with um, really like a super late model. And then a giant wing. That is reminiscent of my favorite car of all time, the Plymouth Superbird. So I, I'm, <laughs> I'm super stoked. It does kind of have the Superbird. I mean, it's a big wing on that car. That's, oh, that's yeah. the one thing I noticed about it. It's, yeah, I mean, it's kind of cool, I guess. I, I, I don't hate on it. I mean, yeah. I guess I can see why people would hate on it, but I don't hate on it. I think it's kind of cool. No. Like, I mean, it's classic yeah. style. <laughs> yeah, Matt, when are they starting up? Um, It's June. I can find okay. the exact date. So this is a little while then. As well, but yeah, it's June. I know it's going to be uh, six weekends in a row. Cool. And the schedule, June 12th, they will begin at Stafford Speedway and run mm -hmm. through July 17th. They're going to hit Stafford Motor Speedway, Knoxville Raceway, Eldora Speedway, Lucas Oil Raceway, Slinger Speedway, and the Nashville. Because we're headed to the desert this weekend. Yeah. For some oh, race, you guys got predictions for the desert? Well, I, I haven't looked at it because, you know, we have been doing our fan uh, pred predictions by whoever did the best in fantasy this last <laughs> week. So I haven't looked at who won, but I know who was in dead last place, and that's me. So <laughs> <laughs> one of you two yeah. are going first. <laughs> I don't know the uh, weekly results. I saw my dad took over the uh, point standings in our group. Oh, did he? That's great. I I hadn't looked. That's 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 cool. Oh yeah. I think he had a good week this week. We should have known he was going to beat us down eventually. It's just a matter of time. That's right. But uh, uh, John, you can go first. Pick what you got for Phoenix. Um, you know, I think uh, I think I think this week a guy that's been showing. A lot of speed, I think, and just hasn't quite sealed the deal. I'm going to say that Brad Keselowski takes it this weekend. He was he he's been fast. He was really fast at the end of the last Phoenix race. So I, I'm I'm going to say Brad Keselowski takes the win. Yeah, I think that is an excellent choice for sure. And really, like I said, kind of the uh, top performing Ford in general. And yeah, he was definitely fast there last year. He's been fast all year, kind of. You can tell that uh, it's him for that win, too. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Well, Matt, who, who are you saying is going into Zona and coming out on top? Oh, man. The desert can be a tricky place, you know. Uh, I'm going to give it to a Toyota this week. I think uh, – They've been building and building, getting better each week, and I think Kyle Busch and his new crew chief get their first win together. Yeah. I mean, not a bad pick. Definitely had a solid run this last week and has been running pretty well so far this season. Just hadn't been right there at the top yet. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like they're uh, uh, growing and getting faster and closer to that first win every week. I think it's coming soon, and – uh the, who knows what kind of rhythm that could set for that team. They could be take off like a Harvick type season. Not that I yeah. necessarily want to see that, but it's just very possible with that 18 crew if they get rolling. Yeah, for so, sure. I think they're going to have a good weekend at least. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. That leaves you. Well, you know what? Every week 
I get proven wrong by whatever I say. <laughs> the key this week is to try to prove myself wrong so I'm right. So I'm oh, picking gosh. Martin Truex Jr. to win the race. <laughs> Because no matter like, what, what happens, I'm right one way or the other. Y'all, y'all, folks, y'all just heard the first Steiner math prediction. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good pick. That yeah, that is a good pick, though. To be honest, yeah. they've been fast. Yeah, all season, despite us uh, ragging them down. Yeah. I was interested in putting money on this. I was just looking at the the bet nods over at DraftKings and uh, the fa- the favorite right now is Chase and I'm assuming that's from the you know the the, the championship race yeah. but Keselowski's ranked second Hamlin Harvick and Kyle Busch are all in the top five uh, Truex down there around looks like around 10th or so plus 1100 so he's a slightly a long shot so but that might be a, you know if somebody's looking to put some money on it, that might be a good bet would be that's true exactly actually. where i put my money earlier so that's why i picked him. did you <laughs> yeah. okay right. went with a uh, true x to win and then i went with another one of your hms cars to place well, bowman to place in the top three so well you, you you're riding that bowman train forever ain't you, <laughs> you gotta pay off eventually eventually it's gonna pay off <laughs> I do feel like they're going to show speed at some point. I don't know. I do Maybe that Phoenix yeah. is going to be the place, though. Maybe. Looking back and speaking on tricks, and just because I have the data right here, it looks like um, the past four races, he's not in the average uh, in a top 10, but the six races prior to that, he's basically uh, in the top five of driver. So a little bit of a fall off last few years at Phoenix, but he certainly knows how to get that place done. But I just thought that was interesting. It's right here in front of me. And you know, it's one of the things about this crazy season we've seen so far is not one of us picked Kevin Harvick, who has so many wins at this racetrack. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, mean, coming into this track last year, we'd have all been fighting to pick (laughs) Harvick, I feel like. I mean, essentially. I I remember last year, I thought – I thought Harvick was going to be the guy to do it, and for he since he wasn't in the top four, I thought he was going to be the spoiler who would win the race, and the champion didn't. I mean, yeah. I honestly thought that's what's yeah. going to happen. But I mean, and you know, anybody that's picking Harvick or betting on Harvick for this, I mean, I can't blame him because it's been his oh. house for a long time. But right now, man, they just haven't. I mean, they, I, I never dreamed they would ran where they run these first four weeks. So I, I mean, it's just. It's just hard to bet on him right now, even though, I mean, it, it has been his house, and it wouldn't surprise me if they ran extremely well. No, I agree. I mean, it, it, it wouldn't be any, in any way shocking if they showed up and all four cars were in the top ten, top five even. But yeah, we have nothing so far this year to base that on. So. Yeah. But, uh, but uh, Chase, though, looking at he's good at this track. and got that win last year. I do believe they'll be fast just looking back yeah. at these yeah. averages. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I think so. we're running out of time, but before we go, um, a little announcement for something upcoming. Me and uh, size will be going officially now to the Bristol Dirt Nationals, the Saturday night finale of the, of the showdown. That's right, getting dirty at it, dirty in big Bristol. <laughs> that's right, Sean well, busy be cool. trying to get an education and raise a son and won't go with us <laughs> well well everybody thinks i can't go because of covid but the truth of the matter is if, if i if i gotta get out of this schooling guys so I can get the road places it's 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 rough but hey i'm i'm, I'm looking forward to, to i'm sure y'all will vlog and stuff and, and bring yeah. some good content yeah. back for the viewers now matt what's the date of that what's the date of that uh it is march saturday march 20th not this saturday oh, cool. but next as of time of recording the weekend before the Cup, uh, the NASCAR weekend. Big, big shock. I have class that weekend, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's what I was going to say. We will be doing a race vlog for uh, this show that will bring you as much footage as we can from the day there. Uh, there's racing all day, pretty much from uh, four stroke bombers up to the super late models and uh, probably around 20 recognizable NASCAR drivers throughout the various yeah. classes all day. So, we're very much looking forward yeah. to that. Check out Arson Brothers Entertainment across all of social media, 
Of course, check out our high.wide.handsome.pod Instagram. Uh, Size and I will try to go live a little bit from Bristol Dirt Nationals, assuming we can. You know how those network jams can be. Yeah. But we'll try to get a little bit of coverage there. And certainly, like I said, with the, the race vlog, we got lots of cool stuff here on the Arson Brothers Network. Uh, more new content dropping this week, dropping weekly, and of course, along with this podcast. Hey, and real quick, don't forget our sponsor, Warehouse Clothing Company, Princeton, West Virginia. Be sure to check them out. All social media platforms on online, and if you're in the Princeton, West Virginia area, stop by downtown and see them. They'll they'll take care of you. They'll get you some. You go into a race, they'll make you something cool to wear. So check them out. That's right. That's right. And we'll be back for more high wise and handsome.